So Platypus is an amazing application that allows you to take any script and turn it into an application. So this application has a lot of really great um, fields and we're just going to go through them real quick. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to pick an application name. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be converting a script that I've already written. It's right here on my desktop and it's called app.sh. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the terminal here and I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm just going to look at this file. And what it is doing here is it's looking at the one password application and it's going to search and see if that process is running. And if it's running, it's going to return hey, this is running. And if it's not running, then it's going to launch it. And then it's going to say, hey, we've launched this application. So that's essentially what it's going to be doing here. So I want to turn this into a GUI application that I can give somebody that they can run. So right now, this application runs in a script format. So something that has to be run through the terminal command line. So Platypus allows me to actually turn this into something that is, uh, puts actually like a wrapper, like a skin around it. Something that I could turn into more of an application front end. So I'm gonna call this one password. Is it running? Question mark. Now this is a sh or a bash. I could use either one of those. I don't have any arguments in my script and the path is my desktop. So I'm going to select dash script and I'm going to use a progress bar as my interface. Now we've got different interfaces. I could, I could use none. I don't have anything. I'm not passing any variables. So likely that would be the most logical interface for me to, to choose. But progress bar is, is good because once it reaches the end state, it would reach a, a complete progress bar. Text window, web view, or status menu, these are all different interfaces and it varies based on the type of script that you're passing. So if you have an interactive script where maybe you have, you're going to be asking the user to drag a file, then you might want a droplet style interface that would allow the user to drag and drop something onto the interface. If you just want to inform the user of something, then maybe a web view where maybe you just have a website giving them information while the application is running. That might be the more appropriate interface for the application. For this specific application, I'm going to choose progress bar. All right. So I'm not going to be bundling any files. The author, I'm, gonna, I'm the author, the identifier, simple app. I'm going to change that to uh, one password running and then it's version 1.0. Simple, easy. I'm going to create the app. I'm going to call it one password running and create. Now what this is going to do is it's going to create an application. Again, it's run, it's on my desktop and it's going to run the app and the details are down below. So one password is running. It's already running. If I quit one password and then I relaunch the app, what's going to happen here is it's going to launch one password and it's going to tell me that it launched one password. So it's actually returning that variable. So again, Platypus, a really, really great utility, takes any script from any, virtually any language, Ruby, Python, Perl, even Swift, PHP, or AppleScript, which is super handy, allows you to take this application, Platypus, put a wrapper, a GUI wrapper around it, and deploy it as an actual application. If you found this helpful, follow me for more videos like this. And if you found Platypus helpful, I'll put a link to download it and go show the developer some love. It's an amazing application.